Get in touch with yourself. Have a conversation with your mind and understand who you are. At your core, you are a soul. You are existent. You are a moment of time. You are a canvas on which you and life paint on. Find your goal. Find your purpose. If you don't know your purpose, then seek something that is a benefit to you and everyone. Seek something that brings value to the world. Seek something that makes the world a better place to live in for other people. Seek this through self-conversation. Talk to yourself. Do something that lets you talk to yourself. Have a craft that lets you express yourself so that way you can have that conversation. Take care of yourself. Find what makes you happy and as long as it's not a detriment to you or others, hold on to it. Keep it there. Let it make you happy. Understand that you have a body and a spirit. Now, you need to take care of both. You need to obviously exercise if you want to, you know, be happy. But also understand that you have a spirit and you need to take care of your spirit too. This is an important part that a lot of people forget about. Is that we are not just our bodies and our minds. We are a being that exists within us. And we need to learn to take care of this being that is us. And oftentimes, the body and the spirit will want opposite things. And in that case, always side with your spirit, for it is a truer reflection of who you are. Share kindness and compassion and hope with other people. Become a beacon of something beautiful. Become kind and humble and gentle. Give freely to others and do so with great joy. Take in the present moment with a stillness. Observe the moment. Don't just let every single second fly by because you're not going to have that second back. Let yourself exist. Let yourself take in the moment. Let yourself take in the air. And just exist sometimes. Put in the work required to get to where you need to be, but also understand that life will also be putting in the work on your behalf too. So if you work together with life to get closer to this goal that you have, you will reach that goal. And always, always forgive yourself for missing a day or, you know, not being perfect with your work. Because if we hate ourselves, if we like let our negative self-talk start to weigh down on us, we will be putting ourselves at a severe disadvantage. Because life will start to reflect that and life will start to work against us too. And we'll essentially be fighting a Zero versus two in a way. And remember, as with all paintings, it takes time. It takes time to finish the painting. It takes time to put in all the small details. It takes time to paint the subject of the painting. It takes time to do these things. So be patient. Learn to endure with joy. That's everything I have to say today. Thank you for watching. Keep running when no one else is.